mouse patty. That's why you're standing oh. up. That's my B. Oh, I think it's not happening. Oh, okay. no. Okay. Oh, it's normal and chill. Hey, what's up, everybody? We got a, a hot new podcast coming at you. Yes. Curtis. It's the same podcast. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but it's not the same so much as it's a new one of the same series. You could say that. We just turned the lights up. The only thing that changed, actually. <laughs> and the camera. It's the same. Actually, though, this is our first podcast no, officially no, the without the uh, with the new camera. Ooh, hi. Don't we look great? Yes. Mike looks really bad with the new camera. You can barely see Mike in the, <laughs> in the new camera. Yeah. Yeah, we had to sacrifice Mike to get a new camera. That's how much it costs. It's a pretty good trade. Well, the he price is of the camera. the camera. Yeah, yeah. He's like, <laughs> he's like the beast. camera man now. <laughs> no, he's like Beast Boy. He, had a, he, turned, he, he turned into the camera. Well, that's why we call him Mike, because, you know, he used to be a Mike. Oh, it's true. He switched roles. Yeah. From a Mike to a human. <laughs> and then we're like, we need a camera more. Like, hey, I'll do it. Check Zam. <laughs> and boom, new camera. Um... Yeah. A new camera that we tested. You want to name it? Name the camera? Ooh, yeah. I don't know if I can name it right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll name it the spot. Complicated. It is odd. <laughs> it's called Mike. The cute name would be Cam. Cam? I want to call camera. it Cam. Yeah, it's kind of like. I want to call it Mike. <laughs> <laughs> can we call it a. Uh, can, can, can Gus operate the camera? <laughs> can it be DreamHack Halo Championship <laughs> Series? Yeah, we got a lot of names. Maybe maybe the anyway. viewers can can name it for us at some point. That'd mm -hmm. be hype. But uh, we are here. Um, mm -hmm. We still have we have a missing podcast I haven't uploaded yet. That's from last week when we did the recap. I still need to get mm. that and make that into a thing. But uh, yeah, when we were on five days of melee. Yeah, but who knows how how you know worthwhile that even is watching in a vacuum. You know. It's yeah. Kind of, Kind of a weird point. I don't even like remember it. So, uh, like what we talked about, we, we kind of just talked, we, we recapped the event that just happened. Oh. We, we answered some Naruto yeah. questions. That was fun. Oh, I remember Naruto, mm -hmm. but uh, that was a crucial part of it. Let's just address the elephant in the room because, uh, yeah, Cypher in the chat, bring it up already. Hmm. Merry Christmas, already hitting us where it hurts. Merry Christmas, my individuals. Love that intro. Love also, huh, I mean, Beantown Brawlers? Question mark? Thinky what fans. happened, Ryan? Here's the thing. We, we, um, uh, we got duped. We got, <laughs> <laughs> we got big time duped. <laughs> we definitely got gone. Just straight up gone. I don't think any one of us was like, yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> no problems, we, no. we even picked the name. Like, <laughs> no, and no part of that where we... Oh, thank, you, thank you, Matt, for the gift sub. Thanks for your 124th gift sub, Matt. Oh my god, Matt. <laughs> that's insane. Um, was that you, Matt? If you're if you're active in the chat, it was who made that name up? What's yes. the deal with that? It had to be Matt. Yeah, I'm just uh. So here's the thing, right? We um, and we'll get to this later, but we we lost our our challenge to uh the Ludwig House. It had to donate five hundred dollars, so we get smoke. We get smoke. <laughs> oh yeah, so we just yeah we just got put in the dirt. We got, we got mm -hmm. it, was, it was not even close. But here's the thing, right? I'm making a donation in all Somalia's name, and there's like there's like sections of your donation, so you don't put your money to one thing, but you put it to one thing in each category. In different ways of putting money toward things. Exactly, and when I when I donated, you know, pretty late into the event, you know, Friday night, like not much things are open. At shout that time. out to you for donating, and shout out to you for donating, mm. person. Mm. I'm just gonna assume our fans. We made a lot of we, we got a lot of money for charity. It was amazing. But here's the thing. What's the thing, Ryan? There were no options. So if you were, so <laughs> we were the only target. You were the only target when I donated. And mm -hmm. let me say, for all similarly, I did not donate to that goal. <laughs> we already cleared it, and I was like, fuck this. <laughs> no, go on to the next one. Mango's the goat. All right, moving on. Um, oh my god, wait, Matt. Matt, you donated a 12 month sub. Is oh. that what that says? Yeah, it does say that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the you do? You paid him for a year? Matt, you can do that. It, Matt's a G. Matt will always be a G. That's fucking hilarious. I didn't even know the thing. 
But Matt Purser is in a sticky situation now. Cipher <laughs> <laughs> for, for a year. No, I'm kidding. Sorry we, we, sure. now, we, we, you know, we've done all this great branding work. <laughs> and, that, and, and now, for the tune of $10,000... That weren't even directly donated for that cause. <laughs> Just like, yeah, sure, I'll, uh, you know, sure. I'll, 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 why not? Change your name. That'd be funny. Go ahead. I'm down. I was, I, I, I went in Ryan's room like, you know, Ryan, it's really an Alston Melee kind of thing. Just run with the bit. You know, we love a bit. We're just being held brothers now. Fuck it, right? Yeah, we, we, what was your immediate reaction? My thing is that, like, if I didn't love Alston Melee, I would do it in a heartbeat. But I do, I do love our just our simple good name. So uh, I think the consensus is is that we're going to uh, maybe make a couple brawl videos, <laughs> maybe make like, a video. like one or like one or two, or like do like a stream. This or, counts. Or like host, <laughs> this counts as one of those. Videos. Host a tournament, like do something around brawl. Yeah. And like maybe change our Twitter display Interview name. You do it, side. Yeah, yeah. Just some. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll do something because it was for charity, and we'll we'll act on it. But yeah, like exactly, we're not gonna be changing our YouTube or our our, our branding. Like, no, we're, we're totally gonna do it. We're totally just just wait, just wait. And it's we're totally gonna do it. No, most likely. <laughs> we, it's gonna what, be, if, what if we don't do it, and they also they they'll demand refunds. I feel bad. Yeah, like no, nope. the world where someone actually donated a, a bunch of money. I want my I want my five, my five k back, Patty. How Patty. dare you? I, I I thought it was gonna happen. That's that's why I donated. I love brawl. <laughs> there will there will be a Twitter poll with different forms of content asking which one of Bean Town Brawlers do you want. And then probably like a option D, all of the above. <laughs> and maybe we just have a Bean Town Brawlers month. Yeah, I love the idea. We're gonna do something to to rectify. Yeah, we're gonna do something to tank the channel. <laughs> yeah, it'll be. I don't know. We we have a bunch of dumb ideas for the channel, so we'll you know. Once now 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 we're built on a nice foundation, mm -hmm. we can fuck around maybe a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> which which is what we you know we're we're more used to doing. It's just yeah. just fucking around. <laughs> a foundation of hotel floors. Yes. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah, it was funny, and, you know, I, I definitely enjoyed... It was fun to watch the bar go up and be like, There's no way. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> uh, this is not... Well, I also thought it was 50000 the whole time. Because when Matt proposed it to us, he was like, 50K, that's never going to happen. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, it's just 10K? Uh. We got Pico de Gallo saying, is that young Theodore? Sick tag. Pico de Gallo? I love that tag. Good it's tag. Um, yeah. It is Young Theodore. <laughs> yeah, we got bamboozled, but I mean, we got bamboozled for a good good cause. But then we bamboozled you back. Because <laughs> you donated for a good cause. Yeah. We were just the we were just the scapegoat for you to do so. Yeah, we were down to be bait. <laughs> it is funny that the same donation that went towards uh, the H-Fam getting H-Box back in the running for the mm -hmm. GOAT, because it was Mango Armada by a steep margin, yep. and then... The field in the last. Oh, that's a good point. And some H fan member was like, "Yeah, yeah, no, I'm donating a bunch of money to get H box back in the back in this section." And also, and and also hey, that brawler thing's pretty funny. Oh yeah. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna make my sick brawl vid, and then maybe we'll host a a, a Boston Invitational Bean Town Brawlers. Yeah, well, you know, I just want to make a trailer again for what, a tournament. What if? Okay, hear me I out. I made a trailer right. for one that we did just for. Fucking the shits. Yeah, we commentated like four sets of. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, here's swag. my idea for a brawl tournament. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Matt. We run Appreciate it. SSSBM or SSBBBR. Okay. And so, are you, you guys remember SSBMBR, right? Mm -hmm. so yes. You just run that, but with brawl as a way to make brawl palatable by just making it a wacky playstyle. Oh, yes, yes, so yes. So, what if. What if we just ran <laughs> Revival of Brawl 2? Mm. <laughs> That's a big name. And play Brawl Tournament. Also known as Rob 2. <laughs> Rob 2? Wait, I have an idea. Yeah? Brain Blast. Yes? We run a Slippy Tournament on Melee. Okay. But here's the catch. Uh-huh. It's, it's only characters that are in Brawl. 
What if it's only characters that are good in Brawl? No, no, it's only characters that are in Brawl. So no Mewtwo, no Roy. That's the rule set. <laughs> Whatever rule set. Anyone else is in? Everyone but those two? They didn't make it the cut. They're out. Hey, it's great. It's just it lacks one crucial detail, which is uh, imagine Austin Melee commentating Meta Knight for the first time. I just don't think anyone would ever enter that. <laughs> That's a thing. What if we get no one there right now? No, mind. we get it. We can we can reach out to our brawl friends. Um, mm, our, our many brawl friends. <laughs> <laughs> God, should I, should I DM the group no. chat of all of our brawl friends? I bet we could get Max Ketchum on a brawl broadcast. And then, then they're all flock after, right? <laughs> they all come with Max Ketchum. Mm. I know Dudu Tsai loves brawl. Mm. And no, he, we know Hazmat so has to around the kids. Hazmat and... Bro uh, doesn't have a, like, an online scene. No, <laughs> Bro doesn't have... A, Not yet. <laughs> yeah, Bro yeah. doesn't have a scene. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Hear me out. <laughs> what, if okay, we okay, ran, okay. what if we ran a subspace emissary speedrun <laughs> tournament? Oh, dude. So I, That's the best part of Brawl. I've had this idea. I don't know if someone's in it yet, but I want to run subspace emissary glitchless. So you can't you just you do it normally. It, so you can't is it, do it. Is it, is it a glitch glitch Sorry, I'm not I'm not aware on the subspace emissary. You know what? I'm realizing I misspoke because my my idea was to do adventure mode and melee glitchless, mm. which would mean no wave dashing. Mm-hmm. And you oh, gotta, you gotta I understand just, what you, you gotta mean. just do it normal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I would try to get that. <laughs> I'm not sure how many glitches are in brawl. I don't. Once again. I think the whole game is a glitch because you have to trip. <laughs> tripping is in it. Yeah. yeah. Um. What was I gonna say? Wait, we have we have the brawl friend. We know Junebug now. That's not brawl. He is close enough. He's it so is, brawl. He's close. <laughs> He's so same brawl. characters. He likes that game. Anyway, does he? Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. I, I did enjoy all the PM content they were doing though. It's some yeah. good stuff. I watch. I watch a lot of that. Good, uh, fun to see. I mean, I used to be a big D to D player. I watched their like tier list discussion. It was so sick. They had a, they had a tier list discussion where four of the top players, uh, like talked about the meta, and they all were top. They were all number one at certain points in PM. It was so tight. So yeah. you know, your, your early early guy was Junebug, and then all the way up to recent with uh, Sosa, I believe. Oh, no, Malachi. Malachi's the most recent uh, number one. Hmm. But uh, it was cool to see them all talk about different characters, and it's like a fun bunch. I'm very excited for PMD back in uh, the melee scene. Hey, the match scene's like dirty little brother. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) who used he who used to be really weird. I mean, I like him, but now he's back in. Like, hey man, you grew up. It's cool. We cleaned out of rehab, and now we're like, hey, (laughs) we thought he stole something from us. We did think he stole something from us. Uh, I thought the coolest thing that Five Days of Melee did was approach PM from the way that. That like the the melee fan wanted them to, which you know I, I think I think the PM fan could have complained about, but mm-hmm. I thought the fact that like it was approached from like oh you know Magi is gonna play this like dope PM player and it, there's a sense you get the sense like oh I'm I'm from the Magi side and like oh I'm gonna approach it how Magi would and like seeing the things that you know this PM player you've never seen do some shit it's just cool mm-hmm. it's cool seeing. Someone who you think kind of like not plays like you, but has the melee feel mm-hmm. playing that in that same game, and that was cool that they did that like four different times and not playing the same character. Like Mag- Magi, it's it's funny because she uh plays Link in Charge Dem, mm-hmm. and then also has like a rivalry against Aklo's Link in Melee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's so funny that it's like oh the character that you don't play in this game you play in this game and it's different. I don't know it's. It was really tight. There was so much good content for Five Lives of Melee, and we uh, it was incredible. Yeah, we we were happy to be a big part of it. Yeah, we, accidentally. I mean, not accidentally. <laughs> we were, you know, we were, we were we were thrown in there. Yeah, we got tossed in the mix a little. Bit. Well, what did we have? We had uh, we had the ad blocker ad. Mm-hmm. That was sick. That was fun. That was fun. Mm-hmm. Remember that night of shooting that? I do. I was there. That was a that was a cool little. The prequel to shooting that was us trying to figure out how a camera works, and they were just like, nope, give up on that. Let's use a phone. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Well, we, we had we had borrowed a camera. Thanks, Colin. And then it, it just didn't work out. Yeah, not the camera that you're currently viewing. The new camera, yeah. That was that was because our uh, 
Our dumbass Amazon didn't deliver my package on time. Yeah, don't buy from Jeff. Yep. Love to right now. Amazon, not so great. I'm going to do it. Yeah, Jeff's kind of a scam artist. But uh, it was um, it was tight. It was a it was a nice little ad we pulled through. We we threw it together, like we shot all the shots. You took it back to to, to the your place, fatty, and you just made it happen. I think the funniest part was uh, the first time it rolled, or even before it rolled, people were just like, you know, like Twitch ad block, like that works different now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then everyone involved, including the people who told us to do it, were just like, no, I didn't know that. <laughs> run it anyway. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, they, I saw a lot of complaints being like, "Okay, like you know, I'm a." The real problem is, is that I, I can't see the ad if I have ad block. I can't see your anti ad block ad if I have ad block off. Like, I want to watch the video again. I like the video. It's funny. Hey, I just want to be the first person to say. If you saw our ad and were mad because you have Twitch Turbo, oh my God. you're a nerd. Go home. <laughs> no, Nobody okay, cares. Nerd. Nerd. Stop yeah. writing in the chat. It yeah, definitely was the funniest part. <laughs> that should be our, our new accomplishment on the uh, the commentator resume. We <laughs> we bullied a major broadcast <laughs> throughout five days. They're like, oh, but Twitch Turbo users don't have to watch ads. Yeah, it's like, dude, you guys don't exist. <laughs> what do you, you talk? Twitch Turbo? <laughs> Excuse me? What is that? <laughs> yeah, you're fake bots put in to make other people try to try to get Twitch Turbo. Yeah. How do you even get that? I don't what? think that's <laughs> <common. laughs> I don't think it's a real option. <laughs> what button did you press? What do you... Hell yeah. Yeah, that was also the cool part where people were like, oh, I actually turned ad blocker off. And mm. I think, yeah, that maybe it helps more. No, I mean, <laughs> we, can all, we can all pretend like it did and it's cool. I saw a bunch of people in the chat who were like, I'm turning it off. Okay, you got me. So yeah. even if it didn't help, like, necessarily by a lot, mm. like, it was still, like, good filler content to run that was, like, that we were in and... You know, two thirds of it were nice and wholesome and like direct. Mm -hmm. I and mean, then that middle third was just uh, us uh, degrading the the camera. There was the best, the best comment I saw on this. I have also one. We'll see if we have the same one. Okay. Was I saw someone watching the ad go? I'm sitting on the floor right now and making it way. It makes it way more realistic. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually. Hilarious. I love that. They're like, oh, you sit on your floor. This ad really hits if you're, on, <laughs> if you're sitting on your floor. My favorite one was Nugget. Was like, why is Austin Melee bullying me? <laughs> That's so funny. This Nugget like watching from home. I'm in quarantine. This shouldn't be happening to me. Pop up. I haven't seen nugget. these guys in years. Hi, Nugget. It was uh yeah, it was definitely a fun fun time. What else we do? We did uh. What was your favorite part of the behind the scenes aspect of Five Days of Melee? Because we were you know we were in the Discord. We were in a mm. couple. Couple of different Discord calls throughout the uh, throughout I the broadcast Discord. that were being that were being broadcasted to stream. Um, yeah, what was your what was your favorite little little hint behind the scenes? My favorite. I mean, my like this shouldn't be a favorite. This is a real dumb favorite to have. But like, just just the feeling, like really just the the power I felt and and how happy I was with myself to never, despite how I was feeling, if I was if I was drunk, if anything. I never interrupted anyone's call. There was always a, there's always a big group chat happening with a bunch of cool names, and I've always wanted to just join it and be like, "Hey, what's up, guys? What up, what up beers? <laughs> what can I do for you?" Even in like the weeks before the broadcast, being in the Discord call, like seeing two people you knew in a call of like five people, you just want to be like, mm -hmm. Pop no. "Hey, thanks, what's up?" Yeah, no. like, "No, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't." I'm you know, a couple broadcast. of our friends, or like some people I want to talk to, I'm like, "Damn, like you know, I could really get in there and, and you know, and you know, and just say hi." But I never really knew what they were doing, so I was like, "Ah, yeah." So it's just you know, I would say all there was you know, it was so cool to see all these moving parts going on. And to also be treated as the talent gods that we are, and which we were left to, we were left out of every conversation. They didn't, they didn't add on us to do stuff. <laughs> There's like, hey, all smelly, like, uh, you're on now. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, that is gotcha. a cool thing. Gotcha, like, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> like everything you've seen from us has been us like behind the camera, in front of the camera, 
you know, working the mics, like everything we do is all like completely fueled by us, you know, yeah. exported, uploaded, edited by us. And just to be like, yeah, we just show up here and we just talk. It's like, yeah. fuck, that's cool. Hey, <laughs> just don't just don't say fuck a couple times. OK, <laughs> the worst part about that clearly, like so, so obviously was like, I remember we were, we were getting ready to go on for our uh, for our top five of the OSCS qualifiers. Mm-hmm. Which was and sick. It was just us like kind of scrambling to make sure we're all set with Juna um, in the Discord chat. Shout out to Juna. Love Juna. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're all doing our normal bullshit where you just talk and shoot the shit and be annoying mm-hmm. while like Patty is like setting things up. And we're all just talking, you know, it's the same garbage. And then at one point, I think Patty or one of us realizes, oh, wait, Juna's listening to us. <laughs> yeah. like, we're, we're probably knowing the fuck out of him. Like, yeah, Mike's Mike's awful garbage voice is just going straight <laughs> into Junior's ears. Like, yeah, girl. while he's trying to like, yeah, not even oh, audio te- test us anymore. Just saying shit. Meanwhile, we're all like away from the from the mics and doing other stuff. And Mike just like, yeah, man, I don't know, like I'm uh. This fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, <Yeah>. no. <laughs> Mike, shut Maddie, mute him, mute him. So a funny part about it was, uh, if, if you don't know, a lot of the, the behind the scenes of Five Days of Melee was, was set up through discords, uh, mm-hmm. like at one giant discord. And with that came, you know, the, I don't even know how many different channels. I don't say 40, probably like 40 so different many. discord channels. Cause you know, I would say 50,000. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's at least 40 <laughs> different good. things happening. Uh, so we kind of. <laughs> At least Semi took over at different points, took over the, the podcast channel. Yeah, I, I love <laughs> shitposting the podcast. There was not, there was not like a, a shitpost channel, surprisingly. There are there shitpost voice channels, but but no shitpost channel, which is probably for the better. You know, probably wouldn't get anything productive done and just get lost in the void. And then they had a bunch uh, of general voice chats, and they missed one pun, which was I wanted like a, a, a general... Grievous one, <laughs> and they're missing that. Like, like general grievances would have been like a nice like uh, channel name. But I, but once again, I don't want to like go into someone's conversation, be like, "Hey, I'm uh, hey Brian here." Uh, <laughs> we could add we could add one more uh, shitty voice channel name. <laughs> like, that's not useful. <laughs> like, sh- shut up, Ryan. <laughs> We're planning a big event here. What are you doing? <laughs> I would definitely tempted them. to go in and just be a bastard a few times. <laughs> or, 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 like, you know, just liking someone I like's posts. Like, even in the, like, LACS group, just being like, my, like, I had to hold everything back so not, like, all of Mango's messages. <laughs> <laughs> just Mango Pog them all. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I did enjoy in the, uh, the introduction channel. Everyone was just like, hey, you know, I'm Rishi. I do. I'm a player and I write for this and uh, I made this and this and this. Then I just came in and I was just like, hi. <laughs> yeah, I think we all kind of were. Yeah. I said, hi, I'm at Dead Zeb's friend. Yeah, my, yeah. My, my, Mike came in and he was like, yeah, I'm the big, strong, talent member of Austin Melee. <laughs> and I immediately followed him with, yes, I am the weak, talentless member of Austin Melee. And Mike, Mike <laughs> also put his name in something weird in the in the credits. Anyway, Five Did five, five was dope. Um, what a troll. Cool uh, part overall was probably, you know, the spots that we got. We got some pretty sick spots, commentary. And, oh, yeah. Uh, Going against mm-hmm. Ludge House is so cool. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Being the final commentator to the East Coast bracket was like a dream. Like, that's, yeah. that's awesome. And a bracket that felt set up for us. Yeah, yeah. man. I saw I saw a lot of nice comments that were, like, genuinely, like, complimenting our commentary on the uh, on all the Samus sets. And it's like, no, bro, we just like Samus. Like, we, mm-hmm. we just like the game, and it's, like, fun to commentate a very cool Samus. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we were uh, we were lucky to have you know good players that were fun to watch. We were lucky. If, if it was, if it was worse players who were more boring, yeah, I guarantee you it would have been worse. But we lucked, <laughs> but we lucked out. We got really hype uh, players of good storylines. So yeah. what are you what are you gonna do? Playing good sets. This might even transition to a different topic, but uh, are we lame? Are we for lame? not shit posting on the mic? Like our brethren who are who are dying in the streets right now. About what? Do you know what I mean? No. So uh for not shitting on sex. I think we've been we've been pretty conscious when we commentate on, on streams like this and not like a mono. 
to be like, you know, we're going to beat ourselves. We're going to make our, our jokes, but we're mm-hmm. going to try to provide, you know, something to the tune of like the commentary and, yeah. you know, actually commentate matches. Well, that, that was the idea after LACS2 where it was quite literally just bullshit. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, our LACS2 <laughs> and Mike really just did nothing. We, like, it was like, oh, yeah, melee's happening. Also, you know, these sticks in Vietnam were called poo sticks. <laughs> like, <it> was, <laughs> Patty was the color commentator in the corner. <laughs> Dude, it was all, it was anyway, all color. Yeah, but, uh... But we definitely made a, a, a conscious effort to, you know, commentate and talk about the match. And, of, of course, you know, uh, we had the ability to learn the eight players that we had, mm. which was also really cool. So we could come in with informed opinions about, you know, all of the people that we'd possibly see. Yep. Uh, but what I'm saying is um, our good friends just died on the mic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was uh, on the on the next... On the same on the same day, same day. While, yeah. While, yeah, while we were commentating, while we were going the we, same time, actually. Yep, because while over the side stream, because <laughs> Salon was in charge of the commentary, and you know, last time this all happened, at LCS two, the same conversation happened. I swear to God, where it's like, hey, you know, like why are you? I think the last time it was more about like why aren't they commentating the match? Mm-hmm. And this time around, the uh, you know the extended Ludwig Ardern Ar- Ar- universe. Whatever you want to call it, just slimes friends, Lobig's friends. Mm-hmm. It, they were commenting the game, but they were being negative about what was going on in the game. Like uh, I believe, you know, um, I think Dawson was it who was saying who was being negative towards. Oh, we have to watch a Peach set, like uh, Peach Yoshi. I'd much rather watch what the side stream is watching right now. Like you know, voicing that. Mm. The way that I kind of looked at it from like watching a, a couple of odds in the rewatch, because again, we were commentating during it. So we, we weren't really watching it and getting the full chat experience. We weren't at all. Um, <laughs> Not even a little. But it, it kind of... Like, when we commentate now, it's Alston Melee commentating. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. the not not the Alston Melee podcast with Melee. Yeah, yeah Which yeah, we yeah. previously yeah. definitely, like, fell into. And probably even would if we were commentating, like, in a mono start to finish. No, a, a, a mono, that's our shit. Because it's like, yeah, it's like... You know, the round one of the tournament just isn't as important or even as interesting sometimes as the grand finals. And, you know, all four of us know how to do big boy commentary when it's just for like matches that need big boy commentary, I feel like. Yeah. And I think also like, you know, if we're just going to go into it, uh, a key that we all fall into is, you know, having four is dope. And I feel like we're good at that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But like, here's the thing with it, right? Yeah. Is that I think that, uh, like you said, Ted, we all know how to do like good commentary. We, we, yeah. we can all, like, you know, if someone said, hey, like, you know, I really need to be professional about this, we can go, okay, cool, cool. But we can, we yeah, can not we put on my suit and tie. Yeah, we, we, we can not goof off. We, we can, we it's can not a serious. strong suit. No, not, not a strong suit. And, and like, what I, the way I see it is that. Pretty strong. When, <laughs> yeah, you're pretty. When, pretty when, cute, <laughs> when, uh, when Slime, uh, you know, hired a sport, I'm like, yeah, Slime knows if we try our darndest, we can, like, hit the bearable level. We can we we can be mm-hmm. good commentators for an event, you know. Like we we'll be okay, and I think the the opposite of that would be like when uh, when people in the mainstream are commentating, they're like, oh, we're just gonna hang out. Where I feel like we were all kind of like more playing it up a little more. We're all like, okay, you know, we're on the stream. Let's uh, yeah. let, let's try to deliver more than and, and let's try to pull deliver, our pants up. Let's, yeah. let's you know, what I'm trying to say is let we we said let's try to deliver. But understand that us trying to deliver is still going to fall short and will still be like chummy commentary that they want us to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, But I think they were, the other stream was like, oh, no, no, no. We're just, you know, we're tight. We can just relax and just hang out. And I think we said, oh, more expectations for ourselves to be like, okay, let's, um, so we aimed for the stars, landed on the moon. I mean, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. To give to give them credit and fight uh, fight their argument a little bit, if you had to click both streams and listen to the and listen to the commentary, sorry, bless and you had you. Yeah, bless you, God bless you, and you had to pick someone who's probably going to take the constructive advice, like it's probably going to be us. So it just feels I don't know. It feels a little weird when when the the takeaway from it is like, oh, we need to give constructive feedback to our commentators when it's not like. The people commentating weren't necessarily asking for like feedback. They weren't. They didn't pull their pants up, as we just said. You know, yeah. we came to the the block to commentate. They came to the block to hang out with the boys, 
you know, talk to each other with some melee. Mm -hmm. And I just think, you know, like, people just, like, like be aware who... Which is, which is what we were brought into, but I just think we we made the conscious effort that last time we were more relaxed. Totally. Uh, and we were, you know, I, I wanted personally to, point. to go into it being like, hey, let's just be a little more on the games because even when I was highlighting it, I'm like, okay, you know, this commentary is hilarious. There's almost nothing about the game. <laughs> like, yeah. It's all just fucking bullshit. So let's try to... Hey, and I heard that a rumor... A rumor. That Brandon said we did a good job. Yeah, Brandon, Brandon was... We, we did all that matters. We were on uh, Brandon's stream, and it was uh, it was great. Like, I, I, he, he did a great job. We were all... We had some awesome matches on there. Mm -hmm. That was LACS3. That was... It, it was great. We, we, we did the, the East Coast... Uh, finals, uh -huh. and then we're was the next day, the next the no, next, two days later, two days later, yeah, we were doing the uh, the actual event with Top sixty four. We talked about it. It was it was tight. The coolest part is that uh, well, it's not the coolest part, but a cool part is that you know we get we get these things such as like uh like microphones and shit, and it's like for a specific reason. You know, we got these microphones to make the the podcast better. But even when getting these mics, we're like, oh, you know, we have the ability to, like, commentate stuff now. And it's sick to see, like, that actually be obtained. Mm. It's like using our camera for, for the LACS stuff, you know, using these mics for commentary. Mm -hmm. uh, it's cool to see, I don't know, us us do the stuff that, you know, we thought we could with the uh, with the tools that we have. Yeah, and, you know, I'm just, I because we, we, we all do enjoy commentary. Yeah. Like, like we... You know, there there was definitely a big point, um, you know, pre and post Amano where we had. I think you brought it up Ted. We 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 said no, like actual melee content. It was all yeah. just it was all just talking about melee, but not talking for sure know, with melee. Mm -hmm. So like we enjoy doing that stuff, and we're gonna do a lot more of it in the future if we can. Yeah. Like any big East Coast events or whatever, any big events you want. Like if you run a big event, if you want commentary. Like, we can get together and do it. Honestly, if you run a small event and you're yeah, just, anything, anything like, we're you down. <laughs> Some we're bullshit. Down. Like, like, give, give us a give us a heads up. Just hit us up. We'll we'll stream it on our channel. Like, we'll, like, like just give yeah. us give us something to do. We'll we'll one hundred percent do it. It's uh yeah, we like melee. We like uh, yeah, we like melee. Take a step back. Uh, forward actually. Yeah, keep step forward. back and forward. Step okay. back three hundred times. Step back two times. Uh, uh, we were on one fifty six k charity stream onto one two hundred and fifty k charity stream. Oh yeah, and and as much as that's cool, like it's just wild to see melee putting up numbers like this. Thank you, Ludwig. It, yeah, it was it was a lot of Ludwig donations, a lot yeah. of um, uh, just him taking all the revenue he would have got. If he showed super hard in the summer for himself, he instead said, hey, I'm showing super hard for Melee. Like, please donate to this. I'm doing these streams. Donate, donate, donate. Like, it's it's so tight. I'm uh, yeah. I'm over the moon about it. I, I'm still waiting for more uh, articles and stuff on it, honestly. Yeah, that's what I was going to talk about, is that I, I feel like it's not getting the true impact that it deserves on the, on the widespread scale. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, at least not not the moon. I don't know. It's it, not on ESPN. And I haven't seen a. I, I personally haven't seen like a Kotaku article on it. Yeah, you know? like yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm, I'm looking for something like you know, some some kind of big organizer being like, yeah, they this is this is insane. Um, well, like the Evo Drive because like, once again, this is three times the amount of the Evo Drive. Yeah, this is what we you know we all raised together. Um, we have to adjust oh, for inflation. We should. <laughs> Sorry, I've never done this, but uh, brainstorm on the pod. Should probably make a video about that. Oh yeah, like melee just raised three hundred k. You know, mm. yeah, that's a good idea. Put in the list. I don't, I don't know what the, what the, our you know, because we always have a all sin melee point to all of our videos, and we probably add something to that. Just but. do like, do like a breaking news. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just in Austin, we raised two hundred fifty k. Like that's awesome. Woo! It could even just be an update from our fucking uh, Nintendo stopping tournaments. Is a good thing. Yeah, just say hey, tag tag Nintendo at Nintendo. Tell your dad, like you know, let everyone know we're we're on top of it. 
what other fun thing? We also did in the Five Minutes of Melee, we did the uh, What is Alston Melee? That whole skit. Yeah. That whole, well, not skit, but just that whole like uh, introduction, mm. which I loved. thought that was cute. I, I thought it was cute, too. Super cute. I remember seeing uh, one of my favorite moments of that entire skit was oh, the moment where Ted says, Alston Melee is swag. Um, I, re- grinder in his I remember seeing Toe from the chat just saying all caps swag, <laughs> <laughs> which was just excellent to see. He's like, yes, Tove. Tove gets it. <laughs> <laughs> he sees. <laughs> we are swag. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think cool. I think the cool part about that video is I used a bunch of the outtakes. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. that was surprising to me watching. Like, yeah. For the first time being like, oh shit, my, my dumb fucking like, you want me to be happy, but not, <laughs> but not on a movement? Like, I don't know. What to do here. I just thought, I thought it like, it, it, it's us. It's like transparently us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was, it was good. It was like good. the, the, yeah, the, the Ted saying Austin Melee swag wasn't even supposed to go in. It was just it was supposed to say Austin Melee. Mm. I was like, oh, I'm just going to use this instead. <laughs> it's funnier than whatever the fuck you said. <laughs> Content or fucking whatever the fuck. Yeah, I liked Austin Melee and swag. Yeah. You didn't use Kawhi, though. <laughs> I didn't use I'm Kawhi. I get Austin Melee and Kawhi in there real bad. <laughs> Dude, so I'm going to determine on that one. <laughs> and a bunch of shots of you going, go on! <laughs> I, I, I've, been oh, saying, I've been saying to y'all, I've been, I've been a big, I've been feeding TikTok recently. I've been watching so much TikTok. <laughs> and, and a part of that is, you know, people, you see all these people that will show up, the, show up their outfits in the same thing, Ted. They raise a leg up and they go, uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> you do the kawaii pose. It's the it's, thing. It's, the thing. It, it's kawaii. <laughs> all, all of our recent watches are hilarious. You're you're on TikTok. I want TikTok. Ted, Ted's, Ted's watching Nar- uh, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. Uh-huh. I'm watching Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage taste right now. Let's, let's run it. Hey, Dragon Ball Z is epic. So I don't want to hear it. Yeah, Show true. game's over. When are you starting the next uh, series? New, the next saga. Well, I have to watch a movie. I believe I have to watch History of Trunks. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So I think I have History of Trunks. I might have some more movies. You might have Bojack. Maybe. I don't know where that one falls in. Um, I know Bojack somewhere around. I think Bojack is over there, yeah. And then I think we're getting into, like, the, the Goku tournament in... Uh, the Goku's dead. Yeah, but isn't he in, like, Otherworld gonna fight a tournament thing? Who, you have to find out, huh? No! Oh, my <laughs> God! Wait. Time. On uh, Dragon Ball Z. Um, and then finally... Hey, it's me, Goku. <laughs> finally, on, on 5 Dom, I just want to say, so we were part of the Family Feud uh-huh. with, with Lud's family, which we were so excited to be on. Uh-huh. And it was a blast to be there. Um, you will notice on the uh, the VOD that all the comments are about the production, <laughs> essentially. And, um, you know, it, it was... I would be lying if I said it, it, it was hard to play it. Um, in our situation, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll play for my dogs. The part, the part that you, you faithful viewer, did not hear uh, while that that broadcast was happening uh, was production just freaking out on our end, just yeah. being like, "Oh God, it's bugged. It's broken. It's just not working." Yeah, <laughs> just the classic like, "Oh, everything's going wrong," and then we're just like, "Yeah, we're fine." Uh, and and I think it was a bit of a testament to to the talent that we had on. To that, 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 you know, obviously, you know, people could be like, oh, production scuffed, production scuffed, production scuffed. Mm. But the fact that we just like continued, like nothing was happening. We're just playing it out. Yeah. You know, you don't want to stop it. Um, the real problem here is that if Lilwick didn't have Pokemon week, the week before or this week, we could have pre-recorded it. But he was already booked up with all of his, uh, all of his gigs. Oh, that's a good point. So we, about that. we were, uh, you know, it should have been pre-recorded. If it was pre-recorded, it would have been perfect. But... That's not how the schedule worked out. And we're, we're glad he was still there for it. And, you know, even though we got destroyed, um, we got so we, destroyed. We, we got, we got, ruined. I like the people that were like, oh, Austin Melee makes everything 10 times scuffed on whatever they're on. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like people that were like, they should fire the production guy on this. And it's like, you really think this is someone's job? <laughs> like, it's a charity effect. Right? <laughs> like, you think someone's coming into the office to do this? Like this is, you know, this is thrown together in a couple of days. Like, leave yeah. It. yeah, it was, it was fine. Um, I'm hopeful they'll do it again, and even better that they'll have us on. 
the the real part is people being like, bro, just just change the slide. It's like that that was way more complicated That's than that. Not- that was a real program that was built for that. Yeah, like to play Family Feud, like you would build for a video game. Mm. Yeah, it just didn't work at you know at when it uh, needed to. <laughs> I also yeah. like some people that were like, hmm, maybe try a practice run next time. <laughs> <laughs> it's having no idea. Like, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, there were a bunch of practice runs and it worked out. That's the problem with live content is that when it when it goes wrong live, you really can't do a whole lot to fix it. <laughs> like it's, you know, and it's we had to do. Also, also probably better for, you know, the, the general chat sake that we kind of got fucked and but the big uh, how it's got to take up as much screen time as possible. Yeah, yeah. And it kind of worked out in that way. <laughs> yeah, that, that was about to, uh, we got our shines. Kind of our opinion on it was like, you know, if you're watching this, you know, you probably want to see more of of, of Owig and those guys anyway. So, if they're like the star of it, like, is that a terrible thing in the long run? No. Yeah, I thought it was would, great. Would we prefer if it was all us? Of course, that would have been better. But um, you know, you know, I, I was gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it right now. Say we, it right now. We a question on that thing on that on that uh, event was name some Johns, and I'll tell you right now, we had some Johns. <laughs> we were we, we were Johnny, and I you know of course I, before I say any Johns, um, no Johns will excuse the fact that, that when they answered, they were hitting it every time. They had great answers, and that is not you know no John can excuse that. I, we didn't always have great answers. I will say, yeah, we have great answers, but I will say that um, uh, we for some reason we decided to use Freddie's phone as Sprint <laughs> as, as our buzzer phone that was running on Sprint, which is not the best. And it was also the audio for me and Freddie, and when we were using it, the buzzer, it was disconnecting the Discord audio from our AirPods, mm-hmm. and, like. And Freddy's phone had like nine percent on it when we started. <laughs> like, yeah, we had our own troubles on our it side. It really, yeah, we we were, you know, we we could have benefited from having a little more time to set up ourselves, but we we were a little late there. Um, and uh, but once again, that's just you know, that it was dope. It's some light Johns. It was still fun to do, and uh, glad we did it. And I hope you know people enjoyed at least the personalities, if not the uh, overall mm-hmm. event. Uh, but that's that's mostly fine. Hey, but I have to say, with the like exception to made that, and I can't really think of any other ones that were you know scuffed like that. Really terrific production. Over yeah, the weekend. Yeah, for, yeah like, insane. Oh, you, you know, know we, we we did mafia. Mm-hmm. You and me, Ted. That was great. That was fine. Yeah, like we just we just rocked that. Yeah, mafia was a slam dunk. We we're some couple of town members. W. And we called the right people out too. We knew it was, we knew it was cheating Genix the whole time. Dude, I called Genix round zero, right? and I was down. I was like, Ted's right." <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, "I said, Piggy, check Genix because Ted's on us up the I want to make sure. Uh, yeah, well, it was it was fun, and we, we got carried by um. Uh, I always forget the name. Fuck, Ken's up, Ken's up, Ken's up, Ken's up. I was thinking Kinsey, Ken's up, Ken's up. Yeah, she, no, she carried us. She carried us so hard. Um. But uh, that was tight. We did that. We did the, the top five was so fucking awesome. Um, the family feud could have been better, but we you know we, we held it down. And then LACS, uh, we had some awesome matches. Ted came in halfway through. Yep. And it was just uh, it was a good bout. Like it was it was good. Uh, I felt good about those comms. I did too. Yeah, I think the whole the whole time, even the whole time, because there were times where. The the four person dynamic just works so well for us. Yeah, because I I could I could be communicating with other people. We could all, we could go on bathroom breaks, get more drinks, like yeah. all kinds of stuff, just because we had at least two people that could hold it down in the meantime. Yeah, like me and Patty didn't take a single bathroom break until you came through, Ted, on that Saturday, uh-huh. and then we all were pushing off. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then Patty Patty's dipping out, I'm dipping out after. Like it was, it, yeah. it's so tight to have it. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I think the idea of us being like the the four way and then and then occasionally swapping out whenever we need to. See, this is why I love this is something me and Ryan have been talking about. The idea of us being Alston Melee as a commentator package. Yeah, like I love that. Mm-hmm. Super love that. So it's like yeah. 
Alston Melee and the cheat. <laughs> that would be like imagine Alston Melee and Toph. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I want you, Matt. You're watching this. I want you to imagine that. Imagine that for shine. Hmm. Because just, we already have the chemistry that we can just do one at a time now. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, like, four people is an issue for us. I think you add one, and we could actually just do that. Or any amount. If we were, if we were, if add we, five. If, if two of us, <laughs> if, if two of us were at an event, open Discord call. <laughs> you know, okay, we can. You know, we're we're good, and I'm I'm just so down to do like pools commentary. Like, let me tell you, yeah. I'm I am chomping at the bit for majors to come back and for us to send. Our first commentary application for like, dear, dear big house. Is there a common app that we can fill out like college? We need a common app. We need. We need. <laughs> we need a common app to send. Can we? Can we make a resume? Yeah, <laughs> like a, like our resume for uh-huh. Austin Melee. That'd be Just, cute. Yes, we're great. Come come watch us. That would be cute. Uh, but let's uh, real quick on the uh, how LACS ended up finishing out. Um, we got to watch hacks. Just rock everybody. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which we kind of just kind of saw coming, right? Well, Hax owns historically. Yeah, yeah. We were like, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, yeah. Hax is the uh, the go to here. Mm-hmm. But then the the swooper run was so tight. Mm. Swooper's tight. Yeah, just super yeah. cool. And and beat, beat, beating Mong and Zuppy was like awesome. Mm. Break and, the swooper. <laughs> and then we move to our stream now. We can say fuck. Fuck the swooper. Fuck the swooper. <laughs> Uh, and then we moved on to LACS three, which um, we got a handful of like cool matches for sure. Uh, all more winners than I thought we were gonna get. Yeah, a lot of it was a blur, honestly. Just kind of did it. Yeah, just kind of sat there and uh, did some. Com- I mean, I enjoy. I'm enjoying it. I remember being like, "Yes, this is fun. Like, we're we're killing this." I feel like I, rem- I remember Axe lost before I came. Something like that, maybe. Maybe. Actually, I have no idea. It's all blur. It's weird how... It's weird how the, the Zuppy sets stand out to me more than the fact that we commentated like Lucky vs. SJ. I wonder why that is, Brain. That is true. You've seen so many Lucky vs. SJ sets. That's but I've a- never commentated... Like I've, We've commentated a couple cool ones before that. Anyway, that was, that was, it was super cool. It was uh, tight. What else? There was some... Um, uh, there was a return of Shroom to Dr. Mario. Yeah. Which was kind of cool. I oh, just thought yeah. that. But Shroom is playing Doc for uh, some counter picks and stuff, which makes me believe, you know, he is also more probably in a uh, in like a more chill mode at the moment, playing at your house. Yeah. But I can see busting up a Doc there would make more sense. Like, like, yeah. Hey, boys, bring out the Doc. Today. Yeah. I'm, I'm just fucking off. Like, sure. Mm. Well, I'm on FD and I'm playing Sheik normally. Yeah, I'll play Doc. But it's funny, though, right? Because, like, Shouldn't your F Dwan? Who, who do you play right now? You play Sheik and and Marth, but yet yet your your F D pick is Doctor Mario. What's hey, what, let what, the man yeah. live? What's, the, all over the place. what's the deal with that? You know you have Marth, right? Who is like the better F D character? Uh, maybe we might get the Luigi in that in that sense, but oh my goodness! Yeah, I like that people are you know just treating. Slippy tournaments for whatever they want. Yeah, you know, obviously you have the top like really tiered and tiered. Oh, weird thing. I haven't oh, watched the video, so I can't. I can't give my full opinion on it. Okay, okay. <laughs> but I did think it was funny that that hacks was just like historically like net play tournaments are awful. Worst thing I've ever heard of. Uh-huh. Can't believe that exists. Never gonna host an online tournament. And then it then made a video all about how slippy majors should be a part of the the melee circuit. I mean, and this sounds like, a, like a, a drastic shift in perspective thanks to Slippy. Yeah, I mean that, that's wild. That's what I, that's what I was gonna bring up. Is that, yeah, is that even the the full haters are on board now? Mm-hmm. It, it's okay. good. And Tough to find the the person. Melee stats? Are they on board? <laughs> I mean, they, they did a podcast all about it. Uh, but like, I, I think for Hex too, it's like you know, this is a charity event. So like, you should be entering this. And, and I hope. I, it, I thought it was cool that he potentially. Is super on board with them counting, because because I, I feel like the people who were like net play tournaments are only or I shouldn't really call them net play really they're they're slippy rollback rollback yeah. tournaments. Uh, I feel like these tournaments only are gonna 
they're gonna they're matter the most when we have everyone on board. Mm-hmm. When you have the most amount of top 100, like obviously they matter ex- extremely right now. Uh-huh. Um, but no, I just think it's gonna be cool when we have the full extent of everyone, and we're we're getting closer to the, towards that. I'll be more. I'll be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be shocked when we go into uh, like normal times, and how net and how a uh, rollback like fits into the, that shit. But like, yeah, I, I think like you need to have, especially this year and possibly even next year, depending on the uh, vaccine and that timeline. Like, you need to have a, a PR and just like put an asterisk on it. But like, hey guys, like 2020 PR, that's all online. Like, take that how you will. Like, it, it's an online PR. Here's like some, you know. Maybe not top 100, but like he's a top 50, he's a top 25. Like, yeah, just just some kind of like, you know, it did it did happen, and it is pretty close. They they're making a I don't know if they're making or if they made uh, a New Jersey PR, and their reasoning was just like, hey, I know a lot of people don't think online matter, uh, matters, and we're just like, yeah, fuck it, we're just gonna see, you know, people kind of care about this, and it's kind of a fun thing to talk about. Fuck it, yeah. Some people care about it. And it, yeah, so, people well, just let us care about it. Someone clearly cared enough to make it. Yeah, I think it was Dark Genix. And I'll tell yep. you why <laughs> I care about it. I care about it because who won LACS3? Mm. But Mango, baby. Woo! Mango won the last tournament of the year. Mango won the biggest tournament of the year. LACS3. A big prize pool. Big prize pool. 25k compared to 38 being the, the biggest one. A historic event as far as charity goes. Yeah. Like a really like, you know, a tournament we'll probably look back on for a while as far as like, you know, a, a historic melee event. That was the most charity we raised and Mango won it. And uh, and more over who else than IBDW? Well, IBDW and the number one player in the world probably right now, Zane. Yeah. Getting fifth place. That was weird. Because Zane lost to S2J Game 5 <laughs> in winners, I mean, and then 3 1 to Axe in, uh, to get to, in top eight. Yeah, less weird, but made sense. Ma- it was ma- weird, though. It was kind of, it sounded like the, uh, if you had to design the worst Zane bracket possible. Mm. That's what it is. It's, it's lose to S2J and then lose to Axe. I, I think the Axe part for sure, but S2J part, no. That's true. Because Zane, Zane, I do want to say, I, I, I say that with on. like. You know, Zane, Zane's pooped on SJ like multiple times this entire year. Yeah. I think I think Johnny just came correct this time, and Zane did not. And uh, there's a lot of instances where Johnny just showed like superiority in that whole matchup. And and I I agree that like you know, a lot of the better players in the world could have beat Zane this tournament um, with the way he was playing. He was he wasn't on the ball. Yeah, even he said uh, S2J had me looking like uh, 2017 corner Zane. Yep, he did say that. Because he had, he had a crazy corner pressure scenario. Yeah, where he dashes back and like, avoids in there. Yeah, literally frame perfect, avoids in there. It's insane. But, I mean, uh, he, but he, even, yeah, he, he was like... He admitted, he's like, a fair would have just, you know, solved this. Yeah. I didn't have to dash away. I could have just attacked him. Hmm. Like, what, what was I doing here? I was... Oh, sh- cool, cool part about, uh, about seeing people lose was seeing the, the good mentalities from multiple people. Yeah, S2J had a sick mentality right after losing. Zane obviously had a sick mentality. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna come back and be better. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Even even Hbox, the god, having, god, having a good having a good mentality. <laughs> He's like <laughs> making fun of what do you say when when you lose to first and second seed? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't, was that make fun of? I thought it was more of like a it's pretty common complaint. No, for, uh, yeah, he's, he's fine. People. Just be like, oh, you know. I might have got this place, but I did lose to the first, second place. So, like, what are you gonna do? You know that 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 classic uh, the classic moment. Yeah, so many people who have gotten ninth have bitch about that. Uh, Bro, I lost the first and second. Yeah, well, second got up seed <laughs> round yeah, two of the man. tournament. That yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, second place went on a crazy <laughs> run, bro. What do you want? You know, I saw a great take from uh, I think from some Tove uh, talking about this in that. Um, he believes that, you know, the um, uh, the top players, their personality rubs off on, on other top players. So mm. from back in the day, when the best player was Mango and trying hard was lame, that was like that prevailed through the entire community. You know, when Armada and Hbox were number one, the entire, uh, you know, focus was on optimal play, like all that kind of stuff. Uh-huh. And now we've kind of gotten into an era where Zane's our top player, 
in Zany's perspective is like just good sportsmanship and good like uh good mentality and just being polite and like you know uh-huh. just, just being over overall a like, great person and that that's now permeating throughout the scene as well where everyone is like yeah I do want to try hard I do want to work like and take credit for my wins but also credit for my losses mm-hmm. and like you know just mm-hmm. I, I think I think it's a cool like you know positive try hard attitude we're all in right now where it's not about being perfect but it's about like you know I just want to play like okay yeah hey it's a, it's a cool theory. I think that's cool. Yeah. No, I, I subscribe to it personally. I think it's a... Yeah, I mean, I don't... I've never thought about it like that, but, like, yeah, the Armada... The Armadas in the H-Boxes really haven't as talked as much about, like, mentality and and path to get better as much as Zane has. No, they, they, they've just been like, hey, just do the right option. Whereas Zane's like, hey, I have It's a to, huge part. I, yeah. have to, I have to try hard. I have to, like, I have to want to win, and I have to be focused on winning. And it's this whole thing. Yeah. And like I could totally see Armada, you know, doing analysis by himself, you know, at his house. But just like Zane doing that type of stuff on stream as much as he is. Yeah, that's cool. I never thought about it like that. That totally yeah, it could be true. That's the only thing I'm thinking about. The most important part, of course, that Mango won, and that's hype. And he had he had the, the best bracket possible for him to win after, oh, yeah. after Zane he took care of H Box, got, got that out of the way. And then Cody took out Hbox after, and then he had Zane get out of fifth. Like it was a primo mango dub, and he also took it in a primo mango dub fashion, where he only dropped three games the entire tournament. Like Ooh. he 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 crushed. Who did he drop to? He dropped the game to Hbox. He dropped the game to Axe. He dropped the game to IBW, I believe. Hmm. Hmm. Three one master. Yeah, he just, he, I mean, 3 0 master, really. Yeah, but, yeah. But a couple 3 1s under his belt, and uh, it was tight. It was a great way to end the year, and um, uh, a tight way to end the week. Because we have, we have one more thing to talk about before we move on. And I know this might, it might not be super long. Sorry for people watching this, because Ted and Patty haven't seen too much about it. But metagame. Yes. Metagame is how we started the week off. Let's not forget. Uh, yes. The whole week started with metagame. Went in the five of melee, finished with LACS, yes. mm. ended with Mango Dub, middle, which great phenomenal content the whole way through, but started with something kind of more controversial in the way that it starts reactions go. What, what do you guys think? What have you guys seen or if you've seen any part of it? Um, To me and Ted both haven't watched it. Ted has watched probably more than I have. Yeah. Ryan, you start. You start. Okay, yeah. you, you 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 steer this ship. I was so Mike and I watched. I, I watched most of it of any of us four. Um, Mike watched second most by just you know barely a minute. He skipped out a little bit of it, and Terry popping in and out. And uh, Patty, I'm not sure your schedule was, but like it was tight. Um, in my opinion, the first two episodes were phenomenal and like were uh, were great. I cut, cut really no flaw in them. Just and a part of that was they're so mango focused. Um, so no flaw. So no flaw. I mean, it was like you know, there they was very enjoyable and very reminiscent of the doc. Like it was only mm. ups. And then the next three on the following day, to me personally, were not as good. It kind of like dove into some weird subjects. Like I feel like you didn't have to dive into the slurs so much as he did on Facebook. Um, Sandbox does have kind of some weird humor, I think, with uh. Just some things. Like, even the original dog, you can see, like, some, like, you know, weird, like, yep. tit jokes yep. or, like, other stuff. And at the time, you know, watching it back now, I was, before, before Metagame, I was like, oh, yeah, 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 that's just an old, you know, that's a younger Samox is the thing. And then we get this segment where it's like, you know, oh, yeah, Mango used to say the craziest things at PPMD. And it's like, you know, you know he's saying the hard got on Facebook. You see the F, you see the T. You see all this fucking blacked out text, uh-huh. but they still left it enough so that, you know, if you know any swears, you know what's being said. Uh. So it's like, why are you showing that? Um, so the, I don't know. There was definitely some criticism involved with it. And uh, I think you can expect that. But um, I do agree with the uh, some, some people in that it's like, 
dude, this this overall is fucking tight. Let's not. Thanks, friend. Oh, thank you so much, Cipher. Appreciate it. Um, I liked I liked it. I liked it overall. I thought it was good. Um, a big problem I have with it though, that you're both experiencing right now, is that how do you watch it after? Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, it was premiering on Twitch, and you know, I'm just doing something. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm doing something right now. So that means I'm not going to watch the first episode. Like, I kind of don't want to just, like, hop in at the other ones. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'll just watch it when it's available. And then it, and then it became very clear that, like, you know, don't have an easy way to make it available. No. Yeah. It's like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to pay you on Vimeo for this thing. I'm sorry. Like, no, I don't care that much for a thing that I don't even know if I actually want to watch mm-hmm. right now. Um. That might be available on Netflix later. Like, ideally. Well, like, you know, it's like, it, it seems to just such a, like, uh, I don't know. I feel like the, the the old doc got so popular for being free and available. Yeah. My opinion was, it was like, oh, I'll let, you know, I'll let people watch it. Right. If, when Ryan tells me, like, yo, you got to watch this. You know, it's awesome. You know, I'll watch it. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, didn't really pan out that way as much. It, like, people are clearly like, you know. Beginning and the end, I think, type beat. Yeah. And and it's very clear that this is not so much a a Five Gods documentary, but as to a PPMD and Armada documentary from the uh, the general consensus. Mm-hmm. Is that it focuses much more on their perspectives. And I think that's cool because it their is- perspectives are the ones that aren't as detailed. Like I remember <clears throat> I remember a couple months ago when we were making the Beast videos, considering putting uh PPMD and Mango in it. Just because I felt like, you know, they have a sick beef and it's like less talked about. Did I put it in it? I don't think you did. No, no I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't think I did. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. But it's just like uh, just seeing that covered in the way that it in, in like in the way that it was is cool. But then obviously it didn't. It went. <laughs> it makes sense south. because if you look at it as like one continuous documentary with the first one. Those players weren't covered at all in the previous documentary. Like not at all. Even like closely. not at all. Yeah. Uh, like doc, like Doctor Peepy is like a a, 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 a yeah. interviewer, but is never mentioned as like a, like a prominent no, player. as a player at all. Yeah. Yeah. It's like oh, this Doctor Peepy talking. It's like and PC Chris says Doctor Peepy. Yeah, yeah, but it's um, like you don't really get a, like a, a grasp on it. No, and so it, it does make some sense that they're covered more, um, but. I don't know. I just don't care uh, about PP or Armada very much. <laughs> it was. I, I will say. I think it is a must watch. Eventually, I, I will say. You know, let's hold out for that Netflix uh, premiere or something, or like you know, it'll get on YouTube. Uh-huh. It, it was very fun to watch. It's just like, you know, it's just not maybe. It's a sequel. It, it, it's a sequel, and like, and like for for the time that he fit, the narrative he chose, I think fit perfectly well like he he picked from you know where the last doc left off maybe a little before then to mm-hmm. apex 2015 which makes it sense. makes total sense that you'd want armada and ppmd as your main people where the end is apex like that yeah. that just makes sense narratively and you have mango you know man so good at apex like you know kind of you know 2015 started to dip down a little bit like it, it makes perfect sense as far as that goes so i don't know it's good critiques about it I think it's great, and um, uh, I can't wait for a uh, a more official release. One thing, uh, part that I have no remorse on, and and honestly, just sort of pissed me off. Mm-hmm. Uh, like the fact that you're putting these people in the documentary is so fucking whack to me. Yeah, I don't even have to say who. Like, yeah. I, I I do not think that putting loser below someone's name who has sexually assaulted people in this community is enough. No. And it's like, you should, I, I don't care how many fucking like reshoots you have to do to make these people not in this piece of content that represents us yeah. do it. And on that sense, like, do you know how much fucking tournament footage I was, I would use if fucking D one is an idiot, like yeah. straight up, like there's so, so much shit that gets cut. And it just it just pisses me off to see like it's just, just lazy to me. Over it or something. Uh, yeah, just cut it out. Like uh, I think everyone would. Yeah. Anyway, and that that is the biggest critique of it. And just like hey, like you know, 
we, we I think all of us thought the same thing, which is wow. Like we were expecting, like you know, some there's gonna be some redacted in here. Yeah, was like this idea. Okay, there, there might be some. I was thinking like a shot, like a like a Something. crowd shot. Like I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. but like there there was way more redacted than we thought there was exactly. Yeah. Like way 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 more. Like how many lines of commentary we heard, or like seeing players do this. Like I I, I get the narrative, but like. Man, it's like after all that, they do not need to be in this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it felt even even more like like what Chat saying. Great coach, shouts out. Uh, when people are just like like, why is that even in? Like, why do we even have to put this part in? Yeah, like mm-hmm. it didn't even feel relevant. Yeah, so that was definitely like the biggest complaint I had by far, which is like I it sucks that like these people and but you know he said that he was very conscious of all the feedback. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this was you know the draft version. And, and that could be why it's so hard to obtain. <laughs> it's very clearly trying to be the draft version. And hopefully in the in the final version that we will all know and come to love, all of our complaints will be answered and, mm-hmm. and met. Yeah. Well, I, ideally, you know, I think it's good for us to be have criticism, but it's also like, hey, you know, it's this guy spent so much time on it. This is so good for the scene. It is it is majorly good. Uh, just there are some choices that we can be critical about because we we now have a have a have a, we have a president. We have we have the uh, the first doc. Mm-hmm. We can go, hey, this one, the you know, first doc is good. There's some problems with it. This doc is good, but there are still problems with it, and we want them addressed. So yeah. I I think the bit, biggest criticism on all end, and this doesn't mean that it can't come out now, was that it felt like a 2015 doc. Like, you know what I mean? It's the problem with it, man. It's just yeah. the problem. Like problem some, the parts, some parts have aged in the bad way. Yeah. Whether that be you know, specific people or just like storylines and narrative or mm. bringing up a weird sus thing. <laughs> there, there, were some, there were some great moments in it and some great insight. And it, it was good. But um, it was an amazing week of Melee. Definitely. We had metagame, fighting to Melee. We had LCS 3. And now we're done. And no, Ryan, there was something else. There's something else. Ten uh, phrases. What, what was the video called? Iconic phrases. Yeah. We, 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 <laughs> made, a video. we made a video. It was good. It came it out. off. It came out. Yeah. We did way better than I thought it was going to do. Yeah. I, Does it have a million views? I don't, a million views. Right I don't know if a title was going to throw people off. I learned what Cooper Black text is, so that's definitely what made it pop off. Ooh, no. Nice. <laughs> Thumbnail master. Mm-hmm. Thumbnail master. Mm-hmm. No, I just try to make. I don't know. I don't. I don't love it when the thumbnails look like a Peng Boys video. Mm. And I think there are scenarios where it makes sense for it to be. Uh, but yeah, I think. I think slowly moving towards the world where it looks like, oh, this is a short documentary. It'd be cool, mm. you know. It was I a, feel like that was good. That was. It was a tight bit. It was you know we we got more come. You know, we're gonna keep doing the videos. Uh, thank you for all the support. It's a. Uh, we had some confusion with this video, but we're gonna, you know, we're gonna address that in, an, in another video with um, uh, a different, you know, the more of the player names. Like it, it was, oh, yeah, yeah. we had this whole backroom discussion, which didn't make too much sense about how, like, these are pl- the idea was that this video was more about like things that are lesser known. And they're maybe named after some players, but like, yeah, like they're not story. they're not like famous players. You know, like Titman's not someone you you like know. But it all got dicey because melee players just love naming shit after themselves, but not even that. Melee players love naming things after other melee players. Yeah. So like a lot of the things in the video weren't like like Scar Jump was called Scar Jump from Scar, assumingly. Mm. You'll you'll find out. We'll figure it out. Figure it out. <laughs> we'll go dig deep. Mm. It was fine. Whatever. Or will we? Next video. <laughs> Here's your hint. Next, next video. The next video is for a a group of of melee players who we've never made a video for. Yes, you that group. Mm-hmm. Talking to you. Probably not. Oh, people this part. in Bean Town. No. <laughs> yeah. <with> this video. <laughs> no, and it's not for like a different community. Like it's not for the PM. It's not for Brawl, although it should be. <laughs> should be. We'll, we'll get there. CS twenty twenty one, maybe. Bean Town Brawlers. But uh, I think we're wrapping up now. That yeah. was uh, that was our week. Um, it was tight. 
I saw one comment about that were just right now that was, hey, like, you know, I enjoyed commentary that you guys did, which once again, thank you so much for the, we, we, we do like the positive feedback. Um, will you do more commentary? And just to say that again, we will, we're happy to do more. We just, you know, need more opportunities and people to reach out to us. We'll do a better job of putting our name out. Yeah. We could also cast our net a little more. Yeah. We but. got it. One more thing, uh, for those faithful viewers in the, in the YouTube, uh, we didn't we didn't answer your your previous comments, but if you did not leave a comment question, you can do so. And on the next one, I promise we'll answer your question. Well, we just don't want to answer without Michael. No, actually, that's you, legitimately. You need, you need Michael here to answer the question. Uh, I, I looked them up, and one of them, the like the second one was about Michael. So I was like, okay, fine, we'll wait. So speaking, yeah, of, if you want to, if you want to ask questions in the YouTube comments, you can, and we'll answer them in the next one. Speaking on that, here's your phrase of the week. Let's throw it up. We need to throw these in before we end it. Uh, yeah. It's again. But uh, Ted, first word. Um, fuzzy. Fuzzy. Patty. Kyle. Fuzzy Kyle. If you get if you're if you're listening <laughs> to still in the YouTube comments, please drop your fuzzy Kyle's. Fuzzy Kyle. Shouts, Fuzzy Kyle. Um, it's a sick. Guy. And I'm gonna wrap it up with one one short little story for all of us before yeah. we wrap this whole thing up. I'm on Slippy today, right? Uh-huh. Just hanging out, having a great old time on Slippy. Match up with a player that has a TTV in the name. Like, okay, 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 okay. okay. I gotta, uh-huh. I gotta own this guy. I have been playing Puff at this moment. Uh-huh. I'm like, okay, let's let's see, let's see it. I'm uh, we're playing, we're playing, we're playing. You know, ends up being a tight ass game. I clutch it out, win it. Hell yeah! The guy leaves instantly. Okay, okay. I go to his uh, Twitch channel. I find him. I'm not going to name him. I find him. Before me, he played another puff. Oh, boy. And then he's playing me. And I'm just like, okay, let's... Cause I'm, I'm curious. Why did he leave immediately? You know? What was the rage about? What was the idea? So, and I come in, I come in all, all talk about it, really. Just being like, oh, what? Well, what did he say? What did this guy say? He lost to a uh-huh. puff. What did he say? And I'm, uh, he was like a genuinely like nice person. <laughs> and I was like, I, I, I played him like the first couple of stocks and he, and he like zero death speed this first stock. Mm-hmm. And, and I ended up coming back in the whole set, but he, but I'm playing and he's like, Oh, this guy's way better than that last puff. And this guy, this guy, this guy's doing some different stuff. This is, this is definitely different. Duh. Maybe different puff. But fine, 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 fine. He's talking to someone else like, Oh, I'll play against you after this guy. Yeah. Let me finish this up. We're going, we're going, we're going. Compliments more stuff. And then I end up winning. And I taunt when I win because I'm like, dude, I clutched it. Like, hell yeah. I clutched it against a TTV person. What's like, TTV? Get fucked. It means and, he's streaming on Twitch. Twitch. Yeah, it's a yeah. Twitch, Twitch name. And I'm like, ha, get fucked. I won. And I, I watch him see that last part and he goes, oh. He, and, and the whole time he's like, yo, it's near Christmas. Like, we're all having like a good time. Good vibes <laughs> here. And then I, I beat him and taunt, and he goes, "Oh, he um, uh, he taunted. Oh, okay, <laughs> cool." And then he leaves and plays his friend. Duh. And I was like, "Oh man, I feel bad now, dude." Like it was. Oh, I'm the asshole. It was. It was good games, man. Definitely I'm the asshole. Yeah. I'm the asshole. I saw your name was your Twitch name, and I was like, "Fuck this guy." <laughs> I thought everyone else was the asshole. But I'm that. the asshole. <laughs> My B. Yeah. Uh, real quick, it's Christmas. Hell yeah! I have one thing to say before. Uh oh. Quick, quick Christmas story. Uh oh. Uh, that hates Christmas. <laughs> couple of days ago, call my parents. She's like, "Hey, yeah, I still hang up for Christmas." They're like, "Yeah, yeah, sounds good." And I was like, "Cool. What we've been doing?" They're just like, "Oh yeah, just like you know, just going to dinner every time, every anywhere." I'm like, "Oh really?" And then they just give me like a whole good old COVID is fake spiel. Oh jeez. They just like talk about. How irresponsible they've been being. And I was like, ah, oh, sweet. So I hung up that call, talked to Maddie. I was like, hey, what do you think we should do? And Maddie was like, I don't know. I was like, I'm just going to lie and say we have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, my parents and uh, I was like, hey, yeah, we just tested positive for COVID. Yeah, it's totally fake. You got to stay, you got to stay <laughs> where we are. Sorry, sorry. my yeah. bad. Uh-huh. That's yeah. funny. So shouts out, stay home. <laughs> hey, and, um, 
for Christmas. Everybody uh, tweet up Michael Allen. Tell yes. Him excited for the Christmas video. Yes. At yes. Cave Lovin. Oh, do that. At Cave Lovin. We are so excited for the Christmas special. Please it, do that. We've been Please. waiting for an entire year. Please add him. It must be coming within the next couple days. I think it's done, and Mike is just waiting for enough people to bug him so that he'll drop it. Yes, that's definitely it. So at Cave Lemon, no space, say, hey, cannot wait for the Christmas special. And you can absolutely mention that today is the one-year anniversary of when this Christmas special was supposed to come out. Yes. Uh-huh. This we, is, today is the one year anniversary. We did a whole pre-recording yeah, cool. where it all leads up to us saying, and now the special. And then back then it was followed by nothing. Hilarious. <laughs> 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 so I guess we can uh, we can keep that tradition up and go, and now <laughs> it will go to the Christmas special. Thank you, Michael. Suicide, suicide, suicide.